<laughs> oh, this is pretty. Oh no. Uh, not with hot things on the table. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shave any information off the top. <laughs> Might say today's topic was taking a little bit off the top. I'd say it's more hair raising. What, do you want to get rid of my goatee? No. Yeah. Or maybe taking a little hair off the bottom? Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, take your, take your shirt off, no, take no, your you pants off. No, 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 I'm the top. You're not. I'm the top. <laughs> <sighs> Hello! Hello welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today, it's gonna be a little hair raising. It's gonna be a little off the top. Um, or a lot off the top. Or none off the top, depending on how you do in today's game. Today's episode is sponsored, and not by hair plugs, but the plug has to do with hair. Today's episode is sponsored, Daddy, by... Manscaped. Manscaped, one of our favorite sponsors on not only our podcast, which you can listen to every week, but also the YouTube channel. And not just because Manscaped is a sponsor, but today we're gonna be talking about Hair. Hair. The musical. Have you seen Hair the musical? I haven't actually. <laughs> is it good? I knew that. I liked it, not like Hairspray. I love Hairspray. See, oh I God. knew you would like good that Good morning, Baltimore. <laughs> But the topic of manscaping, or to be more inclusive, just talking about hair and genital shaving is kind of one of those that people are either very strongly against or very strongly for. Yeah, people have definite opinions about it. What's your opinion? I'm definitely more for like trimming and, and doing a little bit of manscaping every once in a while, upkeep, but I'm not so much on like f shaving right to the, the skin. That's, that's, you're asking for trouble right there. But getting rid of hair, regardless your genitals or your style, is a normal thing. We we all spend time grooming, picking, cleaning. All genders. Poking. Everyone's always moving hair to other parts of their body. Stop it. I also wanted to have a fun game where we test your knowledge on hair while trying out some different hair <laughs> removal options. Oh my god. Each one of these challenges, I'm going to ask you a question. And that question is going to have answers. If you get it right, you get a positive hair raising experience. If you get it wrong though. Get a negative? Yes. I'm already confused. So while each challenge is meant to educate today, there will probably be some pain involved. Ooh, I like pain. See, win-win. Yay. Let's get to the challenge. All right, what's the challenge? Hit me. No. As a disclaimer, we're not telling you you have to do it any sort of way. We're just gonna give you some facts and have some fun. But without further ado, let's get into the challenge. Without further hairdo? <laughs> yeah, yes. Question number one, daddy. How much time do you think guys spend shaving during their lifetime? During their entire lifetime? Multiple choice. A, 20 days. B, 45 days. C, 69 days. Or D, one year. Well, that's gonna depend on how long people live. So I'm gonna break this down to like, um, okay, so I'm gonna go with the obvious, 69. <laughs> really, is that your final answer? Yeah, 69. And the real answer was on average about 45 days. That's it? Yep, that's it. But women, at least according to the studies that we found, which were very not inclusive of non-binary people, how dare you, but they said that women on average spend about 72 days, according to the Huffington Post. If you figure, I, like I spend maybe five minutes max. You spend hours in the shower. I'm not shaving, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but you got it wrong, daddy, oh no. And the challenge, this one was, not to be nosy, but this one has to do with grooming around your nose. So why don't you go ahead and open up the weed whacker, which is the <clears throat> device that we're using for Manscaped for a nice hair raising experience while well, I warm up some wax. So <clears throat> I have to be careful because- You're not gonna like react to me saying I'm gonna warm up some wax? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> You're gonna wax my nose hair? Why? <laughs> no, that's not how this game oh is like. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're gonna let that cool down for a second, but that's the hot wax. This smells good. But while we let that cool down, so why do you think people generally shave their body hair? Because it's, um, certain areas are distracting. I mean, for me, when I trim or, or get rid of body hair, I'm usually doing it to look a little bit cleaner, be a little bit smoother, but it also does get rid of like sweat because the bacteria that gets caught in your hair. You can also do it like waxing and it's a form of impact play where that pain gives you a certain amount of pleasure. Pain and pleasure, you say. So are we gonna find out, is this a scene? No, this is practical education on how to remove hair when somebody doesn't know 
basic hair raising facts. That looks too hot. It's still too hot. I'm stirring it. <laughs> Where's my fan? Hey now, <laughs> don't try this at home. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, not with hot things on the table. <laughs> hey, why want this fan open? <laughs> Try the other direction. Oh, there we go. Why have I not learned how to do this yet? There. Ah. <laughs> I did it. I cannot do this to save my life. Okay. Ow! Why did you put your finger in that? Well, it's hot. Ow! Can I change my answer? No. Don't worry, Daddy. There's a few more challenge questions, and turnabout is fair play. Oh, so I can hurt you, too. If you get the questions right. Did you read the instructions? Uh, totally. <laughs> if I scream like a girl, don't record it. Edit this out, me. <laughs> Ah! Don't do that. Ah! <laughs> Stick it in your mouth. <laughs> oh yes, please read the directions right. Don't be timid when pulling out. You're a warrior king slash queen. <laughs> Does it say slash queen? That's what the directions say. <laughs> I love that. With tiger blood flowing through your veins. Pull the stick out fast. Okay, let's get this in here, Daddy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, this is pretty. You want a second one? <laughs> oh, it's a little warm and fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> How long do I have to do this? Okay. Ah, don't pull it. Are you gonna pull it out? <laughs> Why do you get the easy one? We're just trying to live our best, beautiful people lives. I mean, anyway. yeah. Ow! Oh, okay, no, no. <laughs> like, I'm already crying. <laughs> oh, ah! I'm so Why did you do this to me? <laughs> Okay, I don't think that's that how it's supposed to I think you failed. I don't think you did this right. I don't think that one was done cooling. Oh <laughs> this one, on the other hand, success. Success. Wouldn't you prefer to manscape? Yes! Alright, is it hard now? Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> Now it just looks like I have snot running out my face. Why do people do this? Ah! Whoa! Well done. Look at you. Your hair, the, your nose hair looks great. I feel... You are such a strong king slash queen. <laughs> so as you can see, getting rid of hair can be complicated. Oh my god. My nose is feeling great though right now. Oh my god. To be clear, consent happened. Okay, well this is a horrible game so far. What a lovely nose trimmer. <laughs> Whew, oh my God, so much more error came through. <laughs> right? Woo! <laughs> so again, some people remove hair because of sweat. They wanna get rid of that smell, that B.O. They wanna be able to smell better maybe. <laughs> That's all I can do right now is smell. <laughs> Which leads us to our next question, Daddy. Are you ready for challenge number two? I am focused. The next question is, on the whole, you want you want to try that on your whole? <laughs> oh my god! On the whole, which area of the body has the most dense hair population? A. The armpit. B. The genitals. C. The head. Or D. Your whole. <laughs> you know what hole I'm talking about. Think about it. Hair population. So population is usually by area, right? Can I do 50/50? There's no, no. There's no phone a friend. There's no 50/50. <laughs> I'm going to assume the top of your head has the most hair. Ding, 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 ding. Well uh, yes. Thank you. So I get to hurt you now? So the winning prize for this one is you get to use the lawnmower 3.0 to shave the body of the other person. So I get to shave you? Yes. You have no hair. <laughs> so how come I lose all the time? Sexy music, activate. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, see, isn't that so humiliating? Actually, it looks good on you. Oh, thank you. So what I like about this is it has the perfect guard mm -hmm. and the perfect length because I will run it along my chest and I don't have to get, you know how like lots of them have multiple sizes? Mm -hmm. They have the perfect size. Yeah, with, with any sort of grooming, you always want to, if it has a guard, obviously use that so you're protecting yourself. Getting the really short stubby hairs is not, you can go ahead, you can shave everybody, is not good because if you shave all the way down, then you get those ingrowns. That is so sensitive. <laughs> I like winning. <laughs> No. Hey, give me another pet. <laughs> Shaving can also be a fun experience with your partner. Oh my god, oh my god. Watch my nipple for real though. <laughs> no, with this it won't hurt it. It, 
<laughs> That's the wonderful thing about Manscaped. <laughs> I win! But Daddy, have you ever been in a scene where somebody like forcibly shaved you? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like that? I do. I like the humiliation factor of it and not being in control and somebody else doing that. Yeah. What I actually found really interesting while researching about just removing hair from the body is that, did you know that humans are the only mammal that have curly pubic hair? Really? Yeah. Everything else is straight? Well, dolphins definitely don't have curly pubic hair. What about manatees? Oh, the humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless if you're trimming your partner's nose hair, genitals, or other body parts, if you guys do want to try out Manscaped, they are offering you guys the perfect performance package, which includes your weed whacker, you got your lawn mower that we're using here, as well as ball toners and other deodorizers that help for the aftercare. Aftercare is important. Both of which are waterproof and use 9,000 RPM motors. Ooh. RPMs, which stands for real people manscaping. <laughs> and they offer skin safe technology, which means they're going to prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in all of those delicate areas, whether it's your nose or your genitals. <laughs> I recommend that over what I just did. It's time to turn that Gooch into Gucci. <laughs> That's a talking that point. Is not I didn't write really. I, didn't read, <laughs> I didn't write that. That is a talking point, although anyway, back to the bad read. So if you want to get a good deal, 20% off, free shipping, and you can stuff some stockings, check out Manscaped and use offer code Watts20. Again, that is Watts20. So go on and whack some weeds, trim some hair, make yourself feel sexy and Happy ho ho holidays. Oh, also my, my armpits feel so, ooh. Actually, I, if you're blindfolded and you hear that sound, it's actually very sexual. For you maybe, for it's, me it's very, ah. <laughs> Generally because I would always nick myself with normal razors. And scientists actually have theories around why we do have body hair and why originally like humans had body hair everywhere back before. Well, weren't we apes? Yeah, the ice age. And then after that we evolved. And now it's getting so hot, nobody has hair. But scientists also think that you grow hair in certain areas to attract a mate or mm. to cushion sex or to send pheromones. Like some people's body odors like send off certain pheromones when they're quote unquote fertile. I actually had someone shave my pubic hairs into a heart on Valentine's Day once. Did you have a heart on? I <laughs> had a heart on. <laughs> okay, daddy, that's enough facts. Do you want a challenge? I always, well, <laughs> I don't want to lose. Is it an easy one? This is a true or false question, daddy. Okay. True or false, does your hair grow back faster and thicker after you shave it? Ooh, I've always wondered that and there's two schools of thought on that. But there's only one fact. <laughs> oh, this isn't fair. True or false? Uh, I think it's true. Okay, is that your final answer? <laughs> <laughs> no, because Shirley MacLaine shaved her eyebrows and they never grew up. <laughs> <laughs> kind of logic. Well, because- Final answer? The studio made her shave her eyebrows and they never grew back. So true or false? False. Final answer? Yes. You're locking it in? Yes. Who wants to be a hairy person? Can I phone a friend? Sure, if you want to call. You. <laughs> What's the answer? Hello? <laughs> you got it right. Yay! This one, you get to put one wax strip below the belt. Ooh, do you, you get warm to it pull up? pull that off. No, you just stick it on and place it. So I'll, I'll remove my pants for this one. I love this. Can we show this on YouTube? Well, yeah, no, I'm still wearing underwear. And actually, they're, they're Manscaped boxers. <laughs> So I just peel it apart like this? Yep. Oh, it smells good. Thank God it smells good. It kind of looks like saltwater taffy. I kind of want to lick it. <laughs> Don't you dare put your tongue on that. So I'm going to do it right here, but I'm going to cut the strip in half so I can make an A for amp. I'm sorry, what? I'm no, gonna, no, 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 no. That was letter. not part of the challenge. It's the same strip. This is not arts and crafts. <laughs> it is now. You ready? Yes. This is part of it. This is very scientific. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, it barely did anything. <laughs> okay, you do that one. We should do that again. Oh, that's the most hair. Look. All I did was leave pink glue. These are horrible. You probably didn't pull it off quick enough. So no, I didn't rub it in tight enough. Here, Matt, make it match. Okay, but the thing is, this has to be pressed in really uh -huh. super tight. Great. Ready? Uh-huh. Three, two, two and a half. Daddy. One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> 
Love this game. So much fun. <laughs> this is your idea, not mine. I know. I would rather use a razor to remove the hair. Yeah. Oh, see, and he's actually doing a good job going with the hair, following it, laying the back of it down so you're not getting any crazy cuts. Thank you for getting the glue <laughs> off of my skin. <laughs> And look, the Manscaped razor goes right through the glue. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. But I think it's also important to talk about some tips for below the belt trimming. Are these frosted tips? No. <laughs> That's above the belt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless you're frosting your pubes, which doesn't sound like a Can good idea. Can you do that? Make sure that if you are shaving around the genitals that you don't shave down the hair completely because that's going to lead to ingrown stubs and make sure that you avoid any areas that are going to touch your genitals as well. You'll notice we didn't go for the inside of the leg. We went for the outside because we love to torture the puppy. Unless it's part of the scene and you want to torture the puppy. Because in a few days, <laughs> if I were shaving the inside of my legs right next to my balls, that's going to get real chafy. And we don't want to do that. We want this to be a fun, sexy experience, not a painful, degrading experience. Well, unless you're into that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you have consent. <laughs> And when you shave, you actually are removing layers of your hair and layers of acid that actually protect your skin. So that's why it's important to not shave completely down because then you're going to get those ingrowns and moisturize, which leads us to our next question. Come. What? The next question says, what percent of people harm themselves while grooming below the belt due to bad or incorrect grooming? Everyone. No. It's a multiple choice question. <laughs> oh. 10%, 50%, 25%, or 69%? Oh God, you're you're tempting me with that 69 again. <laughs> okay, think critically, Daddy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna rule out 69 because that got me out of trouble. Uh, oh, should I not? I didn't say anything. So there's a 50-50 chance that people don't know how to do it right. Daddy, what did the <laughs> internet say were the percentage of people that groom incorrectly and hurt themselves? Um, I would say 50%? And... Wait, no, that no, no, wasn't my final answer. <laughs> my, what were the other two? <laughs> Sorry, unfortunately it was 25%, and that's across the board, everybody included on that one. I'm surprised that's so low, so people know how to groom. Well, that or people get lucky. I definitely remember my first times grooming, and I did it well enough, but I was using the same materials that I used the third time grooming, where I cut myself badly and I ended up really not enjoying that experience whatsoever. Yeah, blood. All right, so what's my punishment? So the challenge is time, Dowdy. If you've gotten it right, you would have won a nice ball toning from Manscaped. And this is actually, as I was saying before, you wanna make sure you moisturize and mm -hmm, right into your drink. <laughs> but this is to help replenish the skin and bring back that layer of protection, but also make sure you're not gonna irritate yourself further. That's mo that, I like that, it smells good. <laughs> And the body wash that they sell does the same thing. It's good for your skin. You also make sure you use some sort of aftershave or toner as an aftercare, as Kingsters aftercare is very important. Unfortunately, you lost, which means you get to use some nice icy hot on your new Manscaped balls. Oh, that's not fair. So before this, we made sure to try out our lawnmowers. We Manscaped down there. We got nice and close and comfortable. While this is not the proper aftercare, this is a challenge. Um, why don't you go ahead and just stand back. Um, I'll hold your pants open and... Why am I on this show? Hey now, don't try this. Oh, I don't know if I can sit down. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Do you want to stand the rest of the episode? <laughs> And actually, Daddy, it's a good thing that you had Manscaped because if you are using normal razors, sometimes you can get minor abrasions and scrapes that actually lead to higher STIs and STDs. I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> <laughs> very awake. <laughs> and <now I'm> very... <laughs> I like feel bad half this episode, but the other half I'm having a great time. <laughs> Wait, why are my punishments worse than yours? Can you just um, shave my armpit My hair? legs are pretty terrible right now. Oh. It's okay, it's icy at first, then hot. <laughs> Although in terms of STI and STDs, if you do shave down your pubic area, you do have a lower rate of uh, pubic lice. You, you're not gonna get those crawling around. Yeah, I just killed all mine. Oh, <laughs> now it's like in my jock strap, and I think my other 
parts are getting it. <laughs> hey now, don't try this. So daddy, that was the Manscaped Challenge. Challenge, challenge. That was worse than the Hot Wings the, one. Did you want to do the, the, the Hot Wings one again? With Icy Hot? <laughs> Icy Hot ones. <laughs> so I hope that this not super formal, but still educational manscaping experience was helpful for you. How do you feel, Daddy? Do you feel escaped? Do you need to escape? I'm feeling so much love for the puppy right now. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> But Daddy, is there anything else you want to share about shaving, hair? No, we've already done an episode about shaving and sex. It is a very good integral way of having some kinky scenes, and it's one I enjoy. And it can be intimate, but also funny, engaging. Like, while we're a little bit in pain, we were still having a good time, and I mean, we were able to laugh about it. We all look a little bit sexier for it. <laughs> And I can smell real good, too. What are my pheromones telling you right now? Mmm, they're saying, oh, we've been shaved down. We're not putting out any scent. <laughs> Some weird pheromones. <laughs> <laughs> what are mine telling you? Yeah. Oh. 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 But while we're just on our journey to become beautiful people, we're still, we're getting there. We're getting there. We hope that you guys feel beautiful and confident in your own skin, whether you're hairy or hairless or somewhere in between. Everybody should just do what feels right and makes them feel sexy. And when you're doing wax play like we did, always have a safe word. And your safe word today is? Follicle. <laughs> Follicle. Because I almost <laughs> fell when, when you pulled that strip off. That was an... <laughs> and if you enjoyed this episode and want to see some more beautiful people topics, leave a comment down below. And if you like our episodes, ring that bell. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Well, I figured in the spirit of being a good sport, and you were a great sport, I would let you choose to manscape anything you would like on me. How do you feel about this? Oh, okay. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, let's do it. Can I make a shape? No. Don't talk. Oh, well, let's see what your mustache looked like with a mustache. I mean, it was partly to prove people I could grow a goatee. Like, and you did. I did. You know, we've gotten past the hardest parts of 2020. It's almost 2021. Maybe 2021 will be our year. <laughs> I want to see what you look like if you were living in the 70s. Ladies. I'm here to shave assholes and take names, and I already know everyone here. So bend over. Dangerous lightning. He's got like a porn in the 90s. Music. You look like a Muppet. <laughs> Oh, wait, which Muppet? Oh my god. That's also a good idea oh, to look. lay down. Look, now you're a werewolf. <laughs>